Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to see how to chop off, remove, strip, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take the time portion off of a date time field and then save that value in the table. Today's question comes from Maya in Torrance, California, one of my Platinum members. Maya says, I receive order data in an Excel spreadsheet every day and import it into my Access database. However, all my reports and queries in Access don't work well with the times included in the order dates. Yeah, that's a pain. I've been manually removing the time from the dates. Is there a way to automate this process in Access? Yes, Maya, that's one of the things I love about Access is its ability to, to very easily automate stuff like this. And if I can save you five minutes a day from not having to manually remove times from your order dates, oh, you're going to love this solution. All right. First, let's talk about some prerequisite videos. I know you know how to import data, Maya, but for anybody else watching, if you don't know how to import data from Excel into Access, go watch this video first. To chop off that time portion, we're going to use a function called date value. I've got a separate fast tip video on the date value function. You can go watch this if you want to, but I'm going to show you how it works in just a minute. And to change that value in your table, so you get rid of the time and replace it with just the date, we're gonna use an update query. So if you're not familiar with how these work, go watch this video. These are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch them and then come on back. All right, so let's say I've got a sample orders file that I get. It looks like this. I get this every day from the home office and I've got to import this data into Access to do some stuff with it. And like Maya says, my queries and stuff don't work well because if you got all your queries that are set to like, you know, between two dates, if you're not taking that time portion into consideration, it can be tough. I've got whole separate videos on dealing with that and problems with the between keyword and it's a nightmare. So if you don't need that time portion, it's very easy to strip it off. I'm going to start by opening up a copy of my tech help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to, but you don't need to. This will work with any database. Now I'm going to first import that data. So we're gonna to go to external data and then new data source from file Excel. We're gonna import, we're gonna to browse to where that file is. It's in my spreadsheets folder right there under sample orders. Okay, hit open, hit okay. First row contains the column headings. Yeah, that's fine. And we're just gonna stick with the defaults as it imports it right now. Hit next. All right, we'll say no primary key. We'll work with their primary key. Next, where do you want to put it? I'll put it in import T and then I'll hit finish and that should import the table right there. There's our data. Now it's interesting to note that this actually came in as a text value, but that's okay. For the purposes of our example, that's okay. In fact, you might get import errors if you try to convert this to a day time field when you import it. It's always easier to do it afterwards. But once you've got it imported, now it's easy to change this and get rid of that time value. How do we do that? Well, we do that with a query. I'm gonna to go to create query design. Now, let's say I just wanna bring in the import T. Let's say I wanna just look at that order date time. All right, there it is. Now, if I want to get the date only portion of it, let's call it date only, colon, right? I'm gonna use the date value function. Let me zoom in so you can see this better. Shift F2, zoom in. All right, date only. It's going to be the date value function of that order date time field. All right, let me resize it just a little bit. You can see it. Say it's order date time. I want date only to be a new field called date only. And it's going to be the date value function, which looks at a date that might have a time on it and chops off the time. Okay. And yes, there is also a time value function too, which will take the date time value and chop off the date. Sometimes that's useful too. I got a whole separate video on time value. All right, hit okay. Now it's still just a select query, right? We're still just looking at data. So if I run this now, there you go. There's the value that you want. All right, but I don't want it just over here in a new calculated field. I want to replace this with this. So for that, we'll use an update query. Okay, so we'll just go back into here. We'll just use the same query and watch this. I'm going to chop this off right here. Okay, chop that off and then delete the rest of that. I used to cut control X. Okay, now we're going to change this query to an update query. 
All right, I'm going to update this field to that stuff that I just cut. See how that works? I'm loading in import T, I'm taking the order date time field and I'm changing it to, I'm updating it to the date value of order date time. Okay, and now when I run it, nothing appears to happen because it's an update query, but if I open up import T now, look at this. Uh, uh All those times are gone. We updated that field to just its date value. Okay. And now if you want to, you can save this, you know, uh, update import Q, and now you can run it again in the future if you want to. All right, and if you plan on using this import T for anything important, you might want to come in here and turn this from a short text field to an actual date time field. Maybe change this to a currency. Um, I usually let access import that stuff as it is because sometimes you'll get import errors, especially if it's coming from Excel. And one of those date times isn't perfectly formatted. That, that happens a lot. So I just bring it all in as short text because then I can see what the problems are here. Okay. Someday it may be lost when you try to save it because it's converting from text to date time, but everything's still fine. And notice now, what's the telltale sign that it's now a date field? It lines up on the right side of the cell, of the, the column, right? Of the field, <laughs> right? Numbers line up on, uh, on the right, all, all number type fields, right? Including... Currency values, date times, uh, auto numbers, those are all numeric types, right? Text types always line up on the left. Short text, long text. Okay. So that's how you can do that without any programming. Now, with just a couple of lines of VBA code, we can automate this process. We can delete the data that's in the table, import a new copy of the data, run that update query, and then say, hey, everything's good. And you could do that with just one click. And we'll talk about that in part two. So tune in tomorrow. Actually, it's not tomorrow. It's going to be Monday because today is Friday, December 6th, 2024. So we'll be covering this in Monday's video. So tune in Monday, same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because I'm going to keep recording it in just a few minutes. But before I let you go, I've got another couple of videos to recommend also. I've got this other one called Date Only. What this does is it will display just the date if there is no time portion. And if there is a time, it will also display the time. This is a cool video. Because if you don't put a time in there, you, you see all these 12 AMs, 12 AM, 12 AM, 12 AM, if you for, for, formatted it to show the time. This will format it so you won't see it if there is no time. This is pretty cool. And this video will talk about that time value function that I mentioned before that will strip off the time, excuse me, strip off the date and only show you the time. That's basically the reverse of date value. And if you want to learn more about date and time functions, I've got two classes that cover pretty much everything there is to need to know about dates and times. Access Expert Level 27 and Level 28. I cover all the different date time functions, date add, date diff, date part, date serial, ordinals, all kinds of stuff. And I've got this date time seminar, which is literally just stuff on dates and times. It covers, you name it, about dates and times. I'm the date time guy. I love working with dates and times, right? How to make a holiday table to figure out business days and all kinds of stuff. All right. So that's going to do it for today. That's how to do the import and the converting it to get rid of the time portion without programming in tomorrow's class and Monday's class, part two. I will show you how to automate this process and I got a couple more little tips for you. So that is going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you Monday for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13 time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can.
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. 
and I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.